Hello again and welcome back to Skyrim. Thanks for joining me again. We're out here in the cold wilderness with Lydia and her ridiculous helmet. <laughs> I just crack up whenever I look at that. Uh, where are we on the map? We are uh, right out here by Silver Drift Lair, a place that we cleared out in the last episode. We are going to walk our way back to Whiterun here uh, because that's what we do. And uh, we're going to take all of our goodies and stuff that we uh, looted from uh, Silverdrift Lair. And we're going to just go back and, uh, you know, do inventory management and all that exciting stuff. Uh, yes, I could fast travel back, but uh, what fun is that? It's no fun at all. There's so much to see and explore here. And if I fast travel, I'm going to miss stuff. So we're going to do some uh, walking around here. Um early on in the game. I'm sure there will come a point where I do fast travel. And I have fast traveled already in this uh, playthrough. Uh, at one point I fast traveled somewhere because I wanted to get to uh, Rorikstead real quick. And we'd already taken the path uh, that I wanted to take. So I did fast travel once already. But I mean, look at this. This is like, this is only, well, this is the first time I've walked this route going in this direction. We walked this way uh, on our way to Silver Drift Lair. And, you know, another good thing about uh, walking is that you get to pick up all these uh, ingredients. Which are necessary for alchemy and such. And then, uh, you know, I mean, I don't need to tell you guys, you know all this stuff already. You know that um, we come across interesting people like Cicero in the couple episodes ago. Wow, here's a snowy saber cat that I killed a couple episodes ago. I am surprised that that's still there. That's, that's what I love, man. I love a persistent world. I love that. We killed that cat. That cat should still be there. It is still there. That's awesome. I love that. Love it. Now, I don't know how long that cat will stay there. I'm sure at some point it'll go away. Um, but that's easy enough to explain as well. What are you in such a hurry for, Lydia? Lydia just had to run out in front of me there. <laughs> There's where we're headed right there. So, uh, I was curious about the um, Elder Scrolls games before this one. I mean, obviously I know that this is the Elder Scrolls V. Uh, and I've heard of both Oblivion, Oblivion and Morrowind, but I was like, what are the first two? So I actually went out and uh, did a little bit of reading, watched some videos about Arena, the first Elder Scrolls game, and Daggerfall, the second one. And uh, it's pretty interesting. And Daggerfall is apparently an absolutely massive game. And um, kind of makes me, you know, I like fantasize about going back and playing those old games. But, I mean, geez, who's got time for that? Unfortunately, I do not, but... I don't know, man. I just love to experience those old games. Experience what the Elder Scrolls was in the beginning. I like that kind of stuff. Hey, what's up, Pale Hold Guard? Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Uh huh. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. Yeah, why don't you just head on over there and do that? I love harvesting all this stuff. <laughs> So much of it, and it's so pretty. Those purple flowers, those red ones, they're just really pretty. Look at these little guys right here. Give me some mountain flower. I mean, I've got a lot of each of this type of flower. Oh, crap. Hello, Mr. Dragon. What's up? How's it going? What are you doing, Flyner? Oh, gosh. What? Are you oh, gosh. F5. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing, Dragon? What are you doing? Okay. Uh, uh, go here. I'm going to put my bow in a slot. I don't know what slot. Actually, I'm just going to switch to my bow. And, um, let's see here. I'm going to, um, go here and I'm going to up my battle cry, maybe. I'm going to choose battle cry. And, uh, I'm going to do battle cry here. Oh, gosh. She says no more. I yield. I yield. Did I just hurt her? What the hell? Okay. Well, apparently I don't know what battle cry does. I thought battle cry was supposed to rally my troops. 
I, I guess Battlecry doesn't do that. What does Battlecry do? Um, that's not in skills, damn it. Battlecry. What does Battlecry do? Battlecry. Targets flee for... Th okay, that's not what I want. What did I want? What, what was I thinking of? Huh, okay. Um, that is not what I thought. I thought Battlecry rallied my troops. I, I am wrong. I am wrong about that, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna F9 it here and uh, go back to where I just saved it right before this guy showed up. I don't think that this dragon is gonna flee from me. I, I just don't, you know, call me crazy. Um, fire Breath might be an interesting thing to use against him. Uh, so we're gonna give it a shot if I can get him to hold still. Hey, quit attacking this place, dragon. Hey, why don't you land on the ground or something so I could do something with you? Come on, come down. Yeah, oh jeez, don't land on top of me. Come on, do it. No! There we go. Did he just breathe on me? Okay, I, I think I got him. Let's see how this goes. Um, let's see here. What if I... Let's see, what could I do? Could I coat my... What arrows am I using? Am I using iron arrows? They only do 12. Maybe I should switch to an arrow that does more damage. Like, um... Orcish arrows. Let's switch to these. And what if I put a poison or something on my um, arrows? Can I do that? Poison. How do I do poison? Um, I have no idea how to apply something. I see use, drop, and favorite down there. If I just use this, does it just get applied to my current weapon? I'm going to use it. Yes. Do I want to poison the hunting bow? I do. Yes. Okay, so we'll do that. And we'll see if this doesn't help in our fight against this poor dragon. Don't, now, don't you fly away after I've done all this prep work. Damn it. Come back here. Where are you going? Oh, this dragon is just an equal opportunity uh, breather. Look at this guy. Come here. Oh, come on, dragon. Gee whiz. I'm running out of stamina. Come here. No, not over there. I don't have the stamina to run over there to get you. Who's this guy? Oh, there's even like a wolf over here. This dragon is pissed. Oh, you hit him. It's quiet now. What happened to the dramatic music? Oh, come on. Come on, land dragon. Not on me. Not on me. Took some damage there. Come on, hold still. Oh gosh, thought I heard another one. Oh, oh, okay, come on. Come on, dragon. There we go. Come on, dude, breathe on. I don't know where Lydia is. I don't know if she's helping me or not. Oh, my archery's increasing. Done a little tiny bit of damage to him. A lot. That poor guy over there. Keeping the dragon busy while I shoot it in the gut region. Solgar the Wanderer over there. Getting pummeled by this dragon. Oh, he's got magic too. Yes, we got him. Nice. I hope this guy's still alive. He is good. Awesome. You okay, dude? Dude, you alright? Dude. I never would have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Yeah? Well, I just uh, absorbed that dragon soul. Hey, dude, uh, what are you doing out here? Some may find their inspiration tucked away in toes, or by carousing in the cities. But I find it here in the vast expanses of Skyrim. Okay. There we go. Okay. So... Unfortunately, in a battle, the music is really loud, and um, he is talking quietly, so I don't really know what I could do about that, but that's just how it is. Um, so, oh, the music's still playing. Okay, okay, music, you can stop now. Help, I did help. We helped each other, I like to think. I like to think I was helpful. Oh, he's getting out of here. No, don't get out of here. Whoa. You never should have come here. 
Okay, there. Now will the music die down a little bit now that the threat is gone? Well, again... Oh, shoot, I'm gonna take all this stuff, but that makes me over-encumbered. Doggone it, come back here, dude. Dude, come back. Dude, I want to talk to you. Where's Lydia? Ah, oh, crap. I'm never gonna be able to catch up with this guy. Where the hell's Lydia? So help me if she's dead. I mean, as far as I know, she's dead. Doggone it. Ah. I don't... Ah, shoot. Um, if I just drop this stuff on the ground, will it still be here when I come back? Uh, because... I kind of want to take these dragon bones and dragon scales in and sell them. Um, doggone it. Oh, uh, let me let me take a potion so I could carry this crap for now and maybe catch up with this guy. This draft of strength carrying increases by 30. That'll get me up to 350. That won't be enough. Uh, where the hell is Lydia, damn it? Doggone it, man. There she is. Come here, you. Man, come here. Run away. I've got your back. Here, I need you to carry some stuff. Hopefully you can carry some stuff. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, my stuff is your stuff. So we're gonna give her... Can I give her the dragon scales? So far, so good. Okay, we're good. Okay, thank you. Let's get going, then. Yeah, let's get going. I want to go talk to this guy. Hello there. Hello there, friend. How lucky for you to chance upon a bard on the road. Oh, you're a bard. Oh, I thought you... Wow, you're a pretty powerful bard. Can you teach me about speech craft? Ah, well. After a little incident with a roguish lad and uh, the daughter of a prominent thane. Well, let's just say best not. Afraid not. But if you're serious about sharpening that tongue, you might try the Bard's College in solitude. Hmm. I wonder why he talks so quietly. Um, I mean... Oh, mm -hmm. darn it. Okay. I wanted to go in here. And, uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure I haven't changed anything here. Audio. I mean, voice is as high as it goes. I got the music turned down a little bit. Uh, he just talks quietly. I don't know why, but he does, so... Well, we'll just all have to deal with it together. Ah, smell that fresh air? Truly, this is a good place to play a song. I think we should have a victory song. Uh, looks like I could ask him what he's doing out here again. The best tales are those of adventure. Who could truly write such a tale? without first experiencing such. You make an excellent point, sir. I would like to make a request, even though it's going to cost me 25 of my precious gold. For a generous fellow traveler. But of course, what would you like to hear? Hmm. Ooh, what would I like to hear? Hey, I was wondering if you could play The Dragonborn Comes. Ismir's blessing on you. This one's a favorite of mine. A legend we all know and love. Our hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes. Where the voice-wielding power of the ancient Nord art. Believe, believe, the dragonborn comes. It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. Beware, beware, the dragonborn comes. For the darkness has passed and the legend yet grows. You'll know, you'll know, the dragonborn's come. All right. How do I clap? What's the clap button? <laughs> that was 25 gold I just spent on that. <laughs> Dude's got to make a living. And he did help me with the uh, dragon, so happy to uh, help him out. Well, that's cool, man. So, uh, we, uh, killed a dragon, and, uh, once again, we're able, we were able to, uh, ingest its soul or absorb its soul or whatever, and now I can use, um, a dragon soul to unlock this, and, uh, why the heck not? Unlock right here. Let's unlock this thing, man. We could disarm people. That might be fun. Yeah, let's spend our soul. What the heck? Why not? Okay, look at us being all dragonborn and stuff. That was exciting. Uh, I'm getting the 
impression that the game provides. Meaning, if you find yourself with a new um, shout, right, uh, and you and you need a dragon soul to learn to unlock it, the game will provide a dragon for you. <laughs> it seems like, just seems like it. Come here. Lydia, collect these for me, will you? All right, let's go. This is cool, man. You're just killing dragons left and right. Dragons are easy. <laughs> They're a lot easier than Scourge Beasts. I'm sure that'll change at some point. Uh, so that's where we're going. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't mind it if I saw some mining opportunities out here. Still curious as to where the the mining was that I saw a couple episodes ago, but oh well. If I see it, I see it. If I don't, I don't. We're going to go back into White Run and uh, dump off some inventory and such, you know, all that kind of stuff. So that that um, that thing we just did, I guess, you know, find the source of power in Silver Drift Lair. I guess that was just a um, I don't know, something somebody told us at one point. I don't remember who it was. It wasn't a bounty from Evanichi. Um, so yeah, I guess somebody just happened to tell us about that. And uh, got added to my um, quest list. There's a dude walking down there. Looks like he's wearing robes. Uh, that makes me nervous. He could be like a, a mage or something. And I kind of want to go over and talk to him. He looks like he's looking. Let's go talk to this guy. Let's see what's up with this guy. He looks lost. He's kind of like walking back and forth over here. Oh, he's got his weapon out. Oh, he's an enemy. He's an enemy. Uh, Lydia. Oh, gosh. She's going in. She's going in. Oh, she's going in. He's a magic user. He's a magic user. High elf. <laughs> oh man. Home run. Nice swing there, Lydia. Hey, hi elf. I didn't I don't know why you needed to be hostile towards me. I don't think I had my weapon out. Pretty sure I didn't. So what the hell, hi elf? Why were you hostile? Huh? Lesser soul gem. Filled with a lesser soul. Nice. Petty soul gem. This one's empty. Staff of Frostbite. This is going to put me over my encumbrance, but I kind of want it. Hey, Lydia. Lydia, come here. Lydia. Come, come, come here. I've got your back. Okay, I want you to carry some stuff for me. How can I serve you, my thing? You can carry this stuff. Here, I'm going to give you something to carry, okay? Hold on just a second. Hold on. I'm going to give you um, this uh, supple ancient Nord bow. I guess maybe I could have used against that dragon, huh? My hunting bow does eight damage. Target takes frost damage. It's not going to do a whole lot of against that uh, dragon, huh? Um, so we're going to just hand her this. And thanks, Lydia. You're very useful. Let's get going, then. Yeah, let's get going. She seems just as excited as I am to explore. Let's get going. Why did that high elf... So give, give me your theories on why that high elf attacked me. I'd like to know. I, I don't think I had a weapon out. Pretty sure I didn't. I mean, if I did have a weapon out, then I could understand why she would have attacked me, but I don't think I did. I mean, I'm not I'm not high elf enemies, enemies with high elves, am I? I don't think there's like a reputation system in this game. I mean, not that I am aware of. Oh, hey, look, here's some uh, iron ore. Let's mine this real quick. This sounds like an exciting thing to do. So I'm actually going to um, take my pickaxe and use it like it's a weapon. I've been told that that might speed things up a bit. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Iron ore added. Oh, yeah, that does speed it up a bit. It's not as satisfying because it doesn't make the sound effects and stuff. The poses crack me up in this game, man. Look at that pose. She is ready for action. 
she's ready for action. Lydia, Lydia, I'm just mining some ore. It's okay. I'm just mining some ore. It's fine. Stand down. Stand down. It's fine. Thought there might be some more ore over here. So I don't know if that's the ore that we saw earlier in the game or not, but hey. I mined it. Got us some ore. I mean, kind of hoping was, was hoping for some gems or something. You know, though, I, man, I remember there was like corundum over here or something, which is something I think I need. Um, what the heck if I know where it was? Maybe as I play the game, my eye will get more trained to see that kind of thing from a distance. But for now, I don't think I'm seeing any of it. Well, we'll see more as we travel the world. We'll see it. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Could be being all curious. Hey, maybe there's some down here. There's rocks here. Maybe there's some... Some of that... Oh, there's a fox over there. Hmm. Well, not seeing anything. Listen to this beautiful piece of music that's playing. <laughs> so, those of you watching this, how many of you have played the other Elder Scrolls games? And which ones? And what was your favorite? I was mentioning before that Daggerfall is apparently absolutely massive. I mean, like one of the biggest game worlds ever made. I mean, way, it just, it dwarfs Skyrim. Apparently. I thought Skyrim was big. The game, not the place. Alright, I have returned. Hey guys, good to see you again. I'm back. Alright, so what do I want to do here? I really don't want to spend a lot of time doing all this stuff here. Uh, so I think I'm, what I'm really going to do is just go back, go into my home, and uh, just dump some stuff off. Because uh, I really don't want to spend a lot of time on this. So what, 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 what have I been putting in here? I've been putting uh, my uh, ingredients in here. So let's just take my ingredients and put them in here. Is this really where I've been putting ingredients? I guess it is, huh? And other stuff too, apparently. So yeah, we're just going to dump all of my ingredients in here for now. Because I don't plan on doing any alchemy right, right now. And uh, let's see, I'm going to dump off a book or two that I've read. Um, so let's see, we read... What did I read? I read... Oh, Songs of the Return, I read that, so let's store that. And, um... Hmm. No, I didn't read that. Huh, what else did I read? Well, I thought I read something else on my travels, but, um... I guess I haven't, that's strange. I thought I was gone longer than that. Well, I no, yeah, no, I didn't read that. Okay, didn't read that one either. Okay, whatever. I guess uh, I guess that's the only book I read on my travels. Let's see. In here is where I've just been keeping food and such. I don't know if I'll ever do anything with it. There's really, I don't think any real reason to keep food in this game. To tell you the truth, this is um, our child's stuff. And then up here is where I've been putting um, all of my uh, like crafting materials, this kind of stuff. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm ready as beacon quest item. That's also a quest item. Okay, so and then I wanted to get my uh, lock picks out of here. And, uh, 
I guess my gold? I, I don't know. Does it matter how much gold I'm carrying on me? So, yeah, this is all stuff that, uh, you know, I, I will at some point um, do more crafting and smithing and forging, but I just don't want to do that right now. Just don't want to do that right now. I feel like I've spent a lot of time doing that lately, so kind of want to just do something different. Let me see, what does my inventory look like? Okay, actually, speaking of inventory, doggone it. Let me get this stuff Still from Lydia here. here. I said doggone it because I am sworn to carry your burden. I should have gotten stuff from her first, maybe. Um, let's see, what is she carrying that I want to get from her? She's got three bows on her. Dwarven bow, hunting bow. So I guess Will she use a bow? I think she will, won't she? Let's leave let's take the dwarven bow and the hunting bow from her. Uh let's take the Well. I mean, I might as well take this Lunar Iron Sword from her. She's not using it, right? And as far as armor goes, uh, I mean, we'll leave a shield. Does she want this whole Dwarven set? I'll take the Banded Iron Shield from her. The Elven Shield. And um, the Iron Helmet, but that's gonna... Okay, I'm just about over encumbered now. So I want to go sell some of this stuff. Lead on. Let's go back out here. And uh, we'll go next door. Sell off some of this stuff here at War Maidens. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Hey, how's it going? If not, you're someone who can get things done. I like that. Yeah, I'm pretty awesome. Hmm, blades, yeah, helmets, yeah, yeah. pretty much anything to suit your needs. Okay, so we're going to sell her this shield. This shield, this armor, these shoes, this helmet, this helmet, this armor, these boots. These I'm going to disenchant. As far as weaponry goes, I'm going to sell her this hunting bow. I'm going to sell her... Well, shoot. I might want to... Yeah, I want to see if I could disenchant this thing before I go selling it. The dwarven bow, I guess I'm going to sell that as well. Um... Even though it does seem like it's part of that Dwarven set, um, Lydia has a better bow than this. Okay. Uh, let's see, I've got a Steel Battle Axe. I don't know where that came from. But I have this Skyforge Steel Battle Axe, which is much better than this, so I'm gonna sell this. And uh, I'm gonna keep the Sanctified Steel Sword. Okay, I think that's all I wanna sell to her. Yeah, okay, so we sold some stuff. Our weight isn't that far down. Stay sharp. Uh-huh. Uh, do you have more stuff that you want me I'm to right sell, Lydia? You. Trade some things How with can I you. Serve you my thane? Take some stuff. Let's see, any weapons? I'm gonna leave her with those things. And uh, I'm gonna take the iron shield from her and this steel armor. I swear I don't know what she's wearing. But I'm pretty sure it's not the steel armor, because if she was wearing it, wouldn't I see it? Um, I'm sure you guys have told me, but I don't remember. I mean, at least it shows she's wearing the steel shin boots. I don't know, I can't see her her armor level or anything. I have no idea. Have you I helped my father in more take a look. So we're just gonna sell this crap, man. Oh, there is a did you hear that? <laughs> there is a big storm outside. <laughs> it's pretty exciting. Uh, we're going to sell her the um, steel armor, the iron shield. There we go. Okay, cool. All right. Nice. Thanks for the business. Sure thing. Yeah, thanks for the business. <laughs> Thank you for the business. Okay, so let us go back out to White Run. Back out into the rain. Oh wait, it's raining in real life, not in the game. So, You're back. hey, what's up, Lucia? Look what I found. Ooh. Here, take it. What you? What is it? Dragon's tongue. Okay, thank I you. I work with my mother to sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun most days, but hard work. She gave us a dragon's tongue, everybody. What am I gonna do with that? Dragon's tongue. Dragon's tongue. It's, in, it's an ingredient. Oh, I already know a little bit about it somehow. Okay, cool. 
Thank you. Hmm. All right. Dragon's done. Cool. Thanks. Thanks, little kid. Um. Let's see. What else do I have that I want to sell? Do you know there's some fruits that actually grow better in the Whoa! Do you, you hear that? I hope you hear it. I have my. That's right. Mop the town beggar like everyone. Microphone turned way down, so you might not hear it. But that is some interesting sounding lightning out there. Stink driving my customers away. What's going on over here? The gods smile on them who show charity. Best you remember that. Boy, Carlotta is not being very nice to I'd be a lot warmer this guy. Not happier with a belly full of meat. Wouldn't we all? There's a rift here in Skyrim. Can't neither magic nor the passing of time. I most. All right, let's go up here. I have to run all the way up here to get to the uh, enchanting table. The Somebody's actually s the listening. Come to Olava for a reading, did you? Okay, she's not in the Sorry, mood. Pup. There not it in mood. She's not quite in the mood. Sounds like it might be hailing outside. Could be. I don't know. Hopefully I won't lose uh, electricity. Okay, let us disenchant these things. At the good old arcane enchanter. Okay, here's the items we could disenchant. Huh, I didn't even notice I had these. Hmm. Uh, okay. Well, the lunar... Golly, this is just stuff I have to re just remember. Woohoo! I just have to remember that I already know these, right? Enchantment is already known. So, Kelly, this is this is kind of annoying. I don't like this. So, I just have to remember that I can that I can sell this, right? Um. So the the lunar iron sword and um, this ancient Nord great sword of cold. I guess I could sell steel helmet of minor conjuring. This I do want to disenchant. Yes. Okay, cool. We learned Fortify Conjuration Enchantment. These Black Mage Robes. I don't even remember this. Let's do this one. Destroy it and learn its effects. Elven Gauntlets of Lockpicking. Let's disenchant the, this. And the Sanctified Steel Sword I'm keeping. Although, now that I think about it... I could... Well... I can't apply this to my Skyforge Steel Battle Axe because I already have fire damage, but I think I would rather put Turn Undead on another two-handed weapon since I'm specced for two-handed. So I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, destroy this and learn its effects. I think I'll do that. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, right? I think it does. As far as enchanting things, um, this is about it, really. I could enchant this silver jeweled necklace if I wanted to, but it would take a soul gem. Right now it's already valued at 380. It's pretty pretty cool. The steel armor that I'm wearing, I could enchant this with what? Fortify conjuration, fortify destruction, fortify illusion. So I could make this part of a destruction armor set or a conjuration armor set. I could do that. I've been using a lot of destruction, but I really, I really want to get into conjuration. I want to try that out. Um, I'm pretty curious about conjuration. So yeah. Um, hmm. I don't know. Do I want to do conjuration? Do I want to do destruction? Um. I mean, I've been doing a lot. The thing is, well, I don't know, man. Uh, I'm, just, I'm kind of paralyzed with choices here. I don't know which one to do. Um, let's hold off on this. Let me try some conjuration first and see if I actually like it before I start doing that. That sounds like a good plan, right? I guess it's dinner time. What's up, y'all? How's it going? You have any new jobs for me, dude? Any new bounties? Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Uh, no. Does not. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Thanks, Preventus. That's very nice of you. 
I don't think that I need to come here for anything. Where's this guy? Aventus Aretino. I don't remember him or why I need to talk to him. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff to keep track of. Uh, bring the unusual gem to an appraiser. Oh, that's right. I know where that is. That's like on the other side of the map. Okay. Um. Alright. Get out of here. A lot of stuff to take care of when you're done ex ex explore exploring and adventuring, huh? With respect, companion, I'd ask that you and your friends muzzle that dog of yours. The howling Damn, coming from Dorvasta has gotten Olivia. out of hand. They want to back what? The storm cloaks, they'll get what's coming to what the hell was that all about? You put a muzzle on Heimsker over here. Watch the skies, traveler. Embrace the word of mighty Dalos. What's this place? Oh, that's Heimsker's house, yeah. When I start my thieving career, we'll, we'll break into his house. Carlotta. Okay, so, um, now that I've disenchanted some things, I want to go ahead and sell them off here. What are you looking at? <laughs> I'm not afraid of you, you know. You should be. Even if you are my that sounded creepy. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Where are you going? If, have you met my father? He's a stupid. Take a look. Okay, so we're going to sell off the Lunar Iron Sword. I'm going to sell off the... Let's see, what else do I have? This Ancient Nord Greatsword of Cold. It's pretty cool. Um, let's see, I have this compared with the Skyforge Steel Battle Axe. Let's go ahead and sell this off. I'm not going to use it. I couldn't disenchant it. And... Um, I guess that's pretty much all that I was going to sell to her. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, that's good. Still like to get my weight down a little bit more, but I guess that's not too bad. Stay sharp. <laughs> is she bothering you, Lydia? <laughs> Looks like she wants to go outside, but Lydia's in her way. Boys, girls, dogs, elders. There's nobody I won't fight. Elders, huh? I've got your back. I am at your command. All right. Is she carrying anything else I need to get from her? Ooh. Okay, so she's wearing... Oh, the dragon bone and the dragon scales. I want to get that from her. These I want to store back at the house when I go back. And, um... Oh, the thief book. Yeah. I got to get that from her, too. We'll go ahead and take that from her as well. Okay, so this is everything she's carrying. She's got a shield, even though she's got a two-handed sword. But we'll go ahead and leave her with that for now, I guess. At some point, I'll see if I can't find a good sword, not a great sword, <laughs> uh, to give to her. And uh, have her see if she does better sword and board. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, Lydia, go away. Lead on. Oh, hey. We've got small weapons as well as big... Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Okay, I wanted to go ahead and also get rid of... Where is it? I thought I just took something else from her. Well, maybe I did. Maybe it's something that he won't buy from me. Um, I don't want to sell these ingots and ores. Okay. Good doing business with you. Uh huh. You call looking at your inventory doing business? Yes. Apparently I heard her. Okay, I'm going to store a few more things in here. Uh, let's see, this is... Put some stuff in here. Put the ingot, the ores. Oh, the dragon bones, that's what I want to sell. That's right. Can't get rid of these. So the dragon bone and the dragon scales, let's see if Bellathor will buy those. Um, and then in here, let's go ahead and drop off this dragon's tongue for use later. Okay, come on. I need to make like, I don't know, a list of something, a checklist of things to do when I return to Whiterun. Kind of streamline this a little bit. Got something for just about everybody in here. Uh-huh. 
Everything's for sale, my friend. Uh huh. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Okay. Will you buy my dragon bone? Yes. They're worth quite a bit. The dragon scales increases my speech. Okay, that's kind of cool. So he bought those things off of me. Um. I don't remember seeing this as an option to disenchant. Let's go ahead and sell it to him. And, um, I don't know, man. Do I want to enchant this thing? And s I mean, it's already worth 144. Yeah, let's sell it. Potions. Oh, man. Oh, gosh, I got a ton of potions, too, don't I? I need to drop these off. I don't need to be carrying these around. Okay. Alright, see you later, Bellathor. Do come back. Thanks for your business. Alright, one more stop back at Breeze Home. I can't remember whether I ever designated a container for potions or not. I thought I had, but it doesn't look like I ever dumped off any potions. And here is where I'm keeping a book. <laughs> Okay, this is going to be my potions uh, box, so um, let's go ahead and store and just dump everything in here. Gosh, look at all this stuff, man. Holy crap, look at all these. Damn. My goodness. There you go, how's that? So now I'm going to take back a few. I'm going to take back... Um, Let's take back these potions of healing. Uh, and uh, take back potion of magicka just in case. And then let's just take a poison with us. Um, hmm. I don't have a plain old poison, do I? Well. These are like special case poisons here. I'm going to take this with me just in case that helps me out. And um, this could save my life, maybe. And I kind of wanted to take poison with me, but oh well, I guess I won't. Oh, weak friendly, frenzy poison, weak stamina poison. Well, I don't know, man. Po poison of weakness to magic. So that, I would have to apply this to a weapon, hit somebody with it, and then use magic against them. Seems like a lot of work. Alright, that's it. We're good. Well, <laughs> I was thinking that I was going to rush right back out and do some adventuring, but uh, I don't want to start an adventure now. What's up, Lucia? Braith is a big meanie. She keeps telling Lars and me what to do. I don't want to play with her anymore. Oh. Uh, I've got something for you? You got me a present? Really? <laughs> I didn't think I had anything. <laughs> I was like, what, what am I carrying? Oh, stop teasing me. <laughs> <laughs> was a tease. <laughs> oh, terrible, 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 terrible. So let's decide what we're gonna do at the start of the next episode. Um, we've got this strange gem here. We're supposed to bring this to Mount Kilcreath. We show that on the map. We'll see that Kilcreath is up here, and uh, we are way over here. So that's pretty far away. I mean, that's that's really, really far away. So let's see if we can't find something a little closer by. Retrieval. Oh, this is part of the Companions thing. Dawn Guard. This is uh, Vampire Hunters. Let's see where this is on the map. Way over here. We are currently up here. So that's pretty far away, too. I mean, no, it doesn't matter. I just kind of want to pick something that's kind of close. That's all. In my time of need. Oh, this thing, golly, I don't like this one. I, I'm just... I mean, I'm supposed to kill this guy? I just don't know. I don't even know who this guy is. I don't want to go off killing somebody. What the hell, man? 
But I mean, that one is really within walking distance. It's not that far. So that one makes me nervous, though. I don't, I don't like that one. I don't feel like I have enough information on that one. Blessings in nature. I'm supposed to retrieve some nettle bane for Danica. Uh, and there's some nettle bane here. Here at Orphan Rock. Hmm. Looks like I'd have to like cross these through these mountains to get here. I could probably go all the way back to Helgen and go through this pass to get there. That might be interesting, but that sounds seems like an awful long walk. Uh, just to retrieve some nettle bane. Missing in action. Oh, these guys. Remember these guys? <laughs> or this guy? Thorold in Thalmor custody? We've we've dealt with a Thalmor before and it was not pretty. That is way up here. Sorry, dude, you're gonna have to wait longer. And then the way of the voice was supposed to speak to the Greybeards. I'll do that later on. So, um Yeah, man. This is pretty far away. The Jarl at Falkreath, Bard's College. The Falkreath, I think, is it's way down here. I guess it's not that far, right? I could go talk to him. That might be interesting. Now maybe, we'll, maybe we'll head south next time. Go here, go here, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what we'll do. <laughs> Come back next time to find out. Uh, let's see if I have a book to read. Yeah, you know, we'll sit. We'll sit in a chair by the fire and read a book. That's what you do when you're at home. Okay, let's look at our books. Uh, Avar Stonefinger. This is a book that's going to teach us something, but that's okay. Let's read it. Oh, Stone Singer. <laughs> I thought I said Stone Finger. It's Stone Singer. Sit quietly, child, and listen. For the story I tell you is a story of the ages. I did read this one already. Oh, okay. Cool. We read this one. About the adversary. Okay. So we already read this one. Let me put it on my uh, shelf here. It's cool that I could reach it from my seat. Okay. So we already read Avar Stone Singer. All right. Okay, we'll pick a different book. I already read that one. We'll read, um... I mean, I guess I could go ahead and read this one. I don't know, we could read another Songs of the Return. That wasn't too bad last time. Let's read Songs of the Return, Volume 56. The Final Tale of the Cryon. The Songs of the Return are eternal and numerous. For those first 500, those companions of Ysgrimor who cleared the way for mankind's rightful habitation, burned with a fire not seen since these days long past. Each ship carried a crew that performed legendary feats that could feed the pride of any nation for a thousand years. And during this time of the broadening, scores of companions wandered the land, bringing the light of the proper gods to the heathen land of elves and beasts. They were but mortal, though, and in time all would taste the glories of Sovngarde. It was in one of the uncounted years after the retaking of Sarthal that the crew of the Cryon was declaring their fortunes in the eastern lands near the Red Mountain. They were encamped, surrounded by bodies of murderous elves who had attempted to make them believe they held peace in their hearts. The shrewd Rorlach was the Cryon's captain, though, and would show no quarter to the liars of the Southlands, as had been commanded by his lord Iskermor, harbinger of us all. It was in this state of carousing that they were approached by a young and breathless messenger of their sister crew from the Kalkas. The boy, Asgir, as his name is now sung, had ran unimaginable distance at breakneck speed from the blood-stained fields of the clouded sun to deliver the news to all who would hear. When he reached their camp, he bellowed a great sob before relieving his heart with the news that the mighty Ysgrimar had breathed his last. Asgir continued his swift run to inform the other crews as quickly as they could be found, for there were many now crawling the land rendering our legacy from their deeds. 
and the camp of the Cryon descended into a mourning of the most forlorn sorts. Among these fires sat the bravest men and fiercest women who have ever graced the dirt of this land, and they were brought low by such a notion. While we in the dayshine know only Isgumar's glory, glory? glory as it gleams through history, these companions knew his might with their own eyes, and such a loss hangs so heavily on the heart that mere words cannot express the altering of their world. For indeed the stories tell that Rorlach, the most battle-hardened and unflinching of all captains, did collapse with grief and never lifted again his mighty axe. And all around Tamriel, as the news spread as a dark cloud washes from horizon to horizon, did brilliant lights go out in silent honor of their fallen general and war leader. So ended the period of the return, and the original glories of the 500 companions of Isgrimoire, Harbinger of us all. Wow, so that's like the last song book. <laughs> Interesting. Spoiler alert, he dies. Okay, cool. We read Songs of the Return, volume 56. Let me put it on my bookshelf. Songs of the Return, volume 56. There we go. All right. Thanks for joining me in this episode. I hope you join me again in the next one.